Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Byron and I'm a traffic engineer based in California, USA. As a civil engineer, I consider myself lucky to be in the transportation field. There are the obvious reasons why I like this career path, mainly because I am engaged and interested in the work I do, but also it pays fairly well. Today we are not gonna talk about any of this. Instead, in this video, I'm gonna talk about other reasons which may not be so obvious as to why it is great to specialize in transportation and why you should consider doing that too. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. So if you're considering a career in civil engineering, I highly recommend you give transportation engineering a try. As a transportation engineer, you will play a needed and essential role in ensuring goods and people can move safely and efficiently. If you're studying to be a civil engineer, you may be already thinking about what kind of civil engineering you want to specialize in. It's not an easy choice because there are a lot of specialties to choose from. This video is definitely for you, but even if you aren't, by watching this video, you'll get a little perspective on some of the upsides of being a transportation engineer. With that said, let's get to some of the reasons why I believe civil engineers should consider specializing in transportation. One of the main reasons why I believe aspiring civil engineers should consider specializing in transportation is because of the growing demand for professionals in this field. The need for transportation engineers have increased and there's many reasons that are causing it. As the United States infrastructure gets older, a big effort is needed to repair and maintain this infrastructure so it can continue to serve us in the future. The American Society of Civil Engineers or ASCE who publishes the report card on the nation's infrastructure warns that the U.S. has been underfunding its roadway maintenance for years, resulting in a $786 billion backlog for road and bridge needs. In addition, new technologies and ways of transport are needed in order to increase the safety and efficiency of the transportation network. So going back, what drives demand for transportation engineers? For transportation infrastructure, the simple answer is funding drives the demand in the industry. Funding transportation infrastructure usually comes from user fee, taxes, or developer projects which are then distributed to fund projects or maintenance efforts. So everything from the road you see to the traffic signals need to be constructed and maintained. The funding to do so comes from many different sources, including the private sector. But one example is the federal government. The US government collects taxes and appropriates funding towards the nation's infrastructure. Certain transportation bills are passed which lay out the process to deliver funds to states and the local level. Comparing the recent transportation bills, the funding has skyrocketed. It has increased dramatically with the latest one being the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. California, the state that I work and live in, in the previous fiscal year received $5 billion from this bill. And the year before that, it was $4 billion. When there's more funding available, there will be a bigger demand to deliver projects. And a greater demand to deliver projects equal a need for more engineers. As a result, there are many career opportunities available in transportation engineering, much more than when I started my career fresh out of college. Overall, the takeaway is that people understand the need for a transportation system that works, so there will be consistent government funding that will be secured. In civil engineering, innovation sometimes feels like it's everywhere and sometimes it's nowhere. What I mean by that is there are some methods in civil engineering that really don't change at all over a long period of time. Some of the equations and methods we use are really the same that was used in the last century. And this is true for all civil engineering specialties. There are some things that are just very slow to change, but there's also a lot of innovation happening in transportation. So much to say that in my opinion, I believe transportation goes through the most innovation and change compared to all the other specialties. Some people may not like this because it means you have to stay on top of the most current trends all the time, but I love this and it really keeps it exciting. Using new technology to improve infrastructure is very satisfying. I haven't even been in this field for that long, it's just been over a decade, and since I started working, so many changes have already occurred. For example, detector loops at intersections were used to detect vehicles as they approach the intersection, but nowadays, it's becoming a lot more common to use video detection instead. This video can also supply data that wasn't available before. And when you have high resolution videos streaming from intersections, you also need to have a better network connection. Fiber optic cables have become the new standard in transferring this data. On the consumer side, vehicles are starting to transition to electric and even autonomous vehicles are starting to emerge. There's also a renewed focus on safety where approaches like Safe Systems and Vision Zero are reimagining the design of our roads and making it safer for pedestrians and cyclists. Data collection has exploded where anonymized cell phone data is now integrated with typical traffic data and machine 
learning and AI is used to look at video that would catch things that the human eye would not see. The point is that so much has changed over such a short period of time. And how can that not be exciting? If you love technology, transportation engineering might be the career path for you. One thing I quickly realized when I started working in transportation is a lot of people have an interest in it. And it's not surprising because everyone needs to use transportation if they need to get anywhere. And because of that, people develop strong opinions of it. There's a joke that everyone who drives considers themselves to be a traffic engineer. And I definitely have come across that while working. But I get it because transportation is on your mind if you have to use it for hours every day. So it's natural for people to develop lots of thoughts and strong opinions about it. And I'll be honest, sometimes it can be annoyance because a lot of people like to argue about it. But on the flip side, I really like it because it shows that people really care and they want to be involved. There's only a few things I really care about in life. Turns out transportation is a great conversation starter and a way to connect to people. You know, I've lost count of the number of times where after telling someone that I'm a traffic engineer, they follow that up with a lot of questions about wanting to know how the transportation system works. And it's really cool to be able to share knowledge and answer those questions to some of the topics that people are really interested in. I guess even this YouTube channel is the next level of it. And it's also easy to get sucked into all the chatter about transportation. Every time I'm on the internet, there is always some kind Kind of debate or someone talking about a transportation issue or topic. Whether it's if we should build more bike lanes or if people will accept autonomous cars. There's just a constant news feed of transportation topics that seem to be always there. And there are even advocacy groups that people join in in order to support certain transportation causes. Here are people risking their life in a street because of transportation. Look at that passion for transportation, but I do not recommend doing that. So jump into it or watch from afar. It's guaranteed that there will be no dull moments in the transportation field. People will continue to talk about it and all the problems they experience until we can find a way to teleport to our locations or access everything from our home. This concludes some of the reasons why, as a civil engineer, you should consider specializing in transportation engineering. Thank you for watching. Also consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.